So first to set up Facebook Business Manager, all you need to do is run a Google search and click on Business Manager Overview. And then right here in the top right, you can click Create Account and then just follow the instructions to set up a Facebook Business Manager account. Now Facebook Business Manager is different than Facebook Ads Manager. Facebook Business Manager is, you can think of it for managing multiple businesses, and Facebook Ads Manager is just for managing the ads. So if you're running Facebook ads for multiple clients, or you yourself are selling several different things, or have several different businesses that you want to advertise for on Facebook, then it makes sense to have a business manager set up so that you can easily manage all of your different accounts and different campaigns. So I'm not going to show you every little thing that is here inside of the business manager, but I am going to show you the most important things. By the end of this, you'll be very familiar with business manager and you'll know how to do all the main things that you need to know how to do inside of business manager. So up here, this hamburger icon, if you click that, you get this huge drop down menu and this is where you're going to be able to access all of the different features inside of business manager. So first things first, we're doing all this in order to run ads. So how do we actually get to the place where we can create the ads and run them? You do that by just clicking right here onto the ads manager. Like I said, you can access the ads manager from inside of the business manager. This here is the ads manager and this account that I'm using right now is kind of a dummy slash backup account. So I haven't actually used this one yet, which is why it's blank. But this is where in th this is the ads manager and inside the ads manager, this is where you can create campaigns and create ads and actually r start running those ads. And the way you do that is just click this green button. All right, if you look right here where it says account one, this is one of the ad accounts that I have inside of this business manager account. So if I click on this, you'll see that there's, and I'm gotta kind of keep this name here blurred out, but um, this would be the personal account. And then right here is where you have your different ad accounts. So in order to run Facebook ads, you very, very first have to just create a normal Facebook account with Facebook. And what happens by default is Facebook creates a personal ad account based off of that one. But when you go create a business manager account, then you can create an actual ad account that's separate from this personal one that's kind of automatically created just through sign up. And so what you're seeing here is this account one and then this title media one. These are two different ad accounts that exist inside of this business manager account. So right now it's currently set to account one. I could switch this over to title media like this. And I've got to keep this information blurred out, but you see how easy it was just there to switch between two different ad accounts. And so that's one of the huge benefits of having um, different ad accounts inside of a business manager. And so now I want to show you how to create new ad accounts and how to add ad accounts that already exist. So for example, if somebody hires you to run ads for them, it may be that they already have a Facebook ad account set up. So what then you can do is come up here to this drop down menu again. And then in this left column under accounts, if you click on ad accounts, and then this blue button up here, click on add. And you can add an ad account, request access to an ad account or create a new ad account. So add an ad account is pretty straightforward. The ad account already exists and you want to go claim that one and add it to your business manager request access to an ad account. Like it says here, your business needs to use this ad account on behalf of another business. So this would be the case where if you're running ads for a client, you're not going to go claim their ad account and bring it into your business manager. You just want to get access, request access to their ad account so that, so that you can then run ads through their ad account. So that way you're not getting charged to all your billing, right? It's everything's happening through their ad account and you're just requesting access to it. Create a new ad account is just that. If you want to create a brand new one from scratch, that's how you do that. And while we're right here, I'll finish going through this account section. So pages, this is where you can add, delete different pages. Again, sorry, I've got to cover up some information here, but um, this is just use the add button up top here, add a page. You can also request access to a page or create a new page. Apps, I don't really mess with that. Instagram accounts, same thing again here click the add button, then right here you can log into the Instagram account and add it here. Okay, if we come up here to users and click on people, this is where you can add people to your ad account and grant them different accesses. The way you would do that, again, just click the blue add button and follow the instructions.
If you need to set up payments, you can just come down here, click on payments, and this is where you will add a credit card. All right, I'm gonna come back up here to the drop down menu. Again, also right here on the right, you can click billing and access your billing information. Okay, now I'm gonna walk you through a couple of important tools in here. So the first one is Audience Insights. I'm gonna give that a click. Now I'm not gonna dive into everything that's happening in here in Audience Insights. I'm just gonna kinda of give you the gist of it real fast. So um, when you create a Facebook ad, you choose targeting, who you want to send that ad to, who you wanna show your ad to. And one type of targeting you can use is interest targeting which means if somebody likes a certain Facebook page, you can target and send an ad to all of the people that like that Facebook page. So let's say you're selling some sort of candy bar, you're getting ready to start running some ads, but you need to figure out your targeting. So how can you find some interests? So if you come here to Audience Insights and this little section right here, Interests, if you type in Candy Bar, and I click on Candy Bar right there, and then I come over here and click on page likes and scroll down right here under page likes. It's now found a bunch of other pages with very similar audiences to the audience that likes candy bars. So what you can do with this information with these pages, Dollar Tree, Chick Soul, Big Lots, you can go plug those in as targets, send an ad and see how that ad performs. Now that was kind of a general one. So maybe we want to get a little bit more specific and um, let's say it's a chocolate candy bar. Maybe it's kind of similar to Snickers. So if you typed in Snickers here, now it's brought up other pages with audiences that are very similar to the Snickers page audience. And so you can plug in Sour Patch, Tic Tac, Airheads Candy, and you can run ads to those targets. Now obviously there's a lot more going on in here. You've got demographics, location, you've got age, gender, but like I said, I'm not going to dive into each one of those, but I did just show you what I believe is the most uh, important, most powerful part of audience insights, which is being able to plug in an interest and then find other interests that are most closely related to the original interest audience. All right, let's hop back up here to the drop down menu and under the measure and report section under events manager, let's click on pixels. Now the Facebook pixel is an extremely important and extremely powerful, extremely powerful part of Facebook advertising. And it's going to be particularly important if you are selling something on a website. And what the pixel is, is it's a little snippet of code that you create, and then you go plug that into your website. And what it does is it tracks everything that's happening on your website. Specifically, it tracks what each person is doing on your website. And it pays attention to all different sorts of data points and then you can go in and use those data points to create much more effective Facebook ads. Now I know that was a bit general, so let me get a little bit more specific with it. So for example, there's a thousand people that visit your website, five of them purchase on day one. The next day, a thousand people, another five people purchase. Next day, a thousand people, another five people purchase. Okay, now what Facebook is doing with the pixel is it's watching all of that and it, you can tell it to specifically pay, pay attention to the people that are making purchases, AKA conversions. So someone that makes a purchase on your site is considered a conversion, they converted into a sale. And so Facebook is watching that very, very carefully. And so when it sees five people on day one, five people on day two, five people on day three, it's paying very close attention to, okay, those five people out of the thousand, those 15 people out of the 3000, what's so special, unique, etc. What are all the data points on them that make them more likely to be the people to buy this product? And now what Facebook can do now that it has this data of the type of person that wants to buy this product, it can then go and find tons of other groups of people on Facebook that are so closely related to those people that they'll probably buy your product also. And Facebook does that for you. It does all the heavy lifting. So instead of you having to go and test a bunch of different targeting and interest and demographics and ages, all that, if you put a pixel on your website, and I know I gave an example of like 15 conversions, it's actually 100 conversions. So when you set the pixel on your website, you get people to start purchasing the product. When 100 conversions have happened, when 100 people have purchased, then you can say, hey, Facebook, here's 100 conversions. Go, f go create lookalike audiences. Go find other people on Facebook that are 
these same kind of people so that they'll buy the product. And other really cool benefits that come out of using the Pixel is, uh, for example, retargeting. So if somebody adds something to their cart but never actually finish, finishes the purchase, you can then say to Facebook, hey Facebook, I want to send an ad to all of the people that added the product to their cart but didn't actually buy it. So everybody that was just at the point of purchase, you can figure out who they are, send an ad to them, and get them to finish making that purchase. Those are just a couple of examples of what you can do with the Pixel. There's a lot more that's gonna, again, a whole video on its own for the Facebook Pixel, but that's pretty much the gist of it. It's a little snippet of code that you put on your website so that Facebook can then track all of the visitors that are sent to your website through the ad, and it can track all sorts of different things like for example, I gave you if they added the product to cart or not, if they purchased or not. And the more data that the Pixel is able to take in, the better and better it gets over time. Back up here in the drop down menu, under assets, if we click on audiences, and this will be the last one that I'm gonna dive into right here. And this is where you can create custom audiences and lookalike audiences. If you click on this blue create audience, and then you click on custom audience, you get this pop-up. Now if I hover my mouse right here over website traffic, and then let's read over here on the right, it says create an audience of your website visitors. Use data captured by your Facebook pixel to reach people who took specific actions, such as adding to cart. Okay, it's literally what I just explained. You can also right here upload a customer file. So let's say you have an email list of a bunch of people that have already purchased your product, or maybe it's just a list of leads. Either way, you can upload that list here to Facebook through this customer file right here and Facebook will automatically analyze your file all the emails on your file and figure out if they're associated with any Facebook accounts and then once it's done that what you can do is now run ads to that custom audience that you just created another thing you can do is once you've created that custom audience you can create a lookalike audience based off of that custom audience so like I kind of already explained previously you're saying to Facebook, hey Facebook, here's an email list of everybody that has already purchased off of my website. So what Facebook does is it analyzes this list of customers that you just gave it, and then it goes and finds you a bunch more customers that are just like the ones that you already have. And that is a lookalike audience. So if I click right here, I need to select my lookalike audience source. So this right here, IG Funnel email list is a custom audience that I already uploaded. It's an email list that I have of a bunch of people that are interested in growing in Instagram. The list itself is about 8,000 emails. And when I plugged it in here, if you look under size, it's 3,200, 3,200. And the reason that the size of it is only 3,000 when there were 8,000 emails on the list that I uploaded is because Facebook has to determine if those emails have Facebook accounts. And if they do, then you can run ads to them. If those emails aren't associated with any Facebook accounts, then Facebook can't use them. So that's why out of the 8,000 or so, only 3,200 are here. But 3,200 is plenty to build good lookalike audiences. So what I can do, what I was just showing you, if I create a lookalike audience, select my source, I can select that email list that I have, the IG funnel email list as the source audience location, I'm going to say United States. And then right here is where I can select the audience size. This is where I tell Facebook what size I want the audience to be, what size I want this new lookalike audience to be that's based off of the email list that I gave it. And so the most narrow you can go is at 1%, which is 2.2 million people. And then you can scale it all the way up to much bigger than that. I recommend keeping it as tight and narrow as possible right here at the 1% because that way it's just more honed in and narrowed in on the type of customer that you're looking for. The more you expand, the higher chances are that you're including more people in your audience that aren't interested in what you're selling. And you can use this little button to create multiple lookalike audiences if you want at the same time. Once you've selected what you want, so I'm just gonna say one here at the 1%, click create audience, and then you'll see right here that the lookalike audience has been created size 2.1 million and it's ready to go so now when i'm creating my ad and choosing my targeting i can select that lookalike audience and tell facebook that i want to run an ad to that lookalike audience and then one last thing i want to show you here inside of audiences so again click on create audience custom audience if you click on video down here 
and then click into the engagement bar. You have options to select people who viewed at least three seconds of your video, 10 seconds, 25%, etc. So if you posted a video on your Facebook page or on Instagram or you ran an ad this video before, you can come in here, you can select that video and then you can say, hey, I want to send an ad, I want to target people that watched 25% of that video or 75% of that video. And then you can choose the number of days and set the name. And when you choose one of these targeting options right here, it'll force you then to choose one of the videos. All right, so I think that's pretty much it for Facebook Business Manager. I've covered the most important pieces of Facebook Business Manager. If you're looking for more in-depth help on how to create Facebook ads, how to do lead gen, how to find profitable targeting, make sure and check out some of my other Facebook ads videos because I dive into those tutorials as well.